Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to historic Fenway Park for wrestling. All Stars of New England, brought to you by Bell Time Club and Dante Luna. My name is Drew Kazoo, and I am joined at this time by the incomparable Joey Business and, and the, the benevolent, intelligent Donnie Wonderful, aka Tall Ondor. Joey, how, why don't you have an intro like that? Why don't you have Why don't you have a big extravagant? I'm a grown man, Kazoo. I don't <laughs> sit and look in the mirror all day. To actually answer that question, some men are just blessed with other talents that others can't. Tag Team Gauntlet on the way here, folks. And to answer that, some men are blessed with the gift of yeah, but your mom was a mute, correct? Let's say we're gonna Unbelievable. Have a, we're we're going to have a match here at ringside here before we even get the bell rung as we await the arrival of the first tag team here in this Tag Team Gauntlet. Yeah, this, this is going to be amazing. I mean, this is going to just be a ton of flesh and bone cracking into each other. Nothing scientific. Just whoever survives the beautiful mess wins. Can you guys imagine the pandemonium? There's going to literally be over a thousand pounds of superstars in that ring today. Well, I'll tell you what would have me worried. I mean, you said, as we see the fellowship now making their way ringside, what would worry me is you step into the ring, you know who your opponent is, but in a tag team gauntlet, you don't know who or when or who's going to come down to you. You don't know what you got to deal with. And may I point out, look at the suit that Dr. Ozone is wearing. Look at that. Dr. Ozone looking like looking a million. Looking like the best maitre d' on the earth, I'm telling you. <laughs> maitre d' serving up nothing but trouble. I would not want to run into the this crew in a, in a dark alley, that's for sure. No, certainly not. Absolutely. Unbelievable. As, he looks like a red pitcher of Kool-Aid. Look at him. <laughs> See, the, the young fans here looking on in horror as the fellowship. As the fellowship is about to take in the eyes of the Fenway faithful for the first time, as we are, this is about to be one hell of a contest, and well, we can tell that. I got to tell you, I love the feel, I love the vibe, the atmosphere here at Fenway Park, but we're so used to seeing another sport, seeing professional wrestling here at Fenway Park. I got to tell you, history is in the air, Donnie. Am Absol I right? A absolutely, absolutely historic. I grew up a mile and a half away from here, and this is my first time ever seeing wrestling in the Green Monster, in the historic Fenway Park. I'm excited. You can smell the Fenway Franks from here. All right, now as we await the arrival now of the next team here in this gauntlet. Next team in this gauntlet, looking fly, looking fresh, coming out. They're about to give, they, they ooze attitude, they sleek machismo. These are the guys that you don't want to meet. Who we're seeing now is Team Test of Strength. We've got Ty Shine and Lucky James here making their way into the ring. They're representing the Wagner School. I'm gonna need a lot of luck today, let me tell you. Uh, and absolutely, man. These guys look like they've been training hard. They're ready. I can't wait for this match to begin. And again, look at Dr. Ozone trying to promote his information. Look at him. I'm telling you, you're looking like a poor man's Teddy Long, which is a rich man's everything. <laughs> I'm sure New England wrestling legend Slick Wagner Brown looking on with great interest now as his young students yeah, everyone's taking Prepa their eyes. Everyone's allowed to just look across the corner at what might be. I mean, we've only got four out of the many combatants in here right now. Do we realize that how many people are actually going to be in this ring at runs? Absolutely not. I can tell you, the guys that are in the back just itching the claw, just run out here and join this match. I'm telling you, man, endurance is going to play a major key here. I'll tell you, endurance, and you're going to have to be ready for anything again. It's a feeling of spontaneity. You don't know what's going to happen next. Who's going to come out next? As we see a reversal now, Irish whip into the ropes. Beautiful roll through. You, you anticipated that. Oh, and he got taken out by a lariat really quick. I didn't expect that myself. Rolling lariat there. No, yeah, you stand corrected once again. You don't see too many rolling lariats in professional boxing there, Donnie. Unfortunately not. Everything is straight fist of cuffs. Straight fist of cuffs. What happens if you use your feet? Uh, someone call Connor. As we see now, grappling now has got... James oh, he goes with the go behind. He's going to throw. A little bit. Oh, oh, see this? That's the, the tag team action takes in the play. He rolled him off the ropes. He was in trouble, and his partner took up the, the slack, much like I have to do for you two bozos. Uh, see, yeah, Joey Business now taking control, much like the Fellowship now taking control in this tag team gauntlet. Don't hate, appreciate. As we intend to. I can tell you. you see, Doc goes on the outside, shouting instructions now to his team as the clock ticks away. Fellowship got uh, in a bad way. Uh, looks like they're about to just take it in town. Hard Fellas, kicks you get, in the corner. You got to worry if your team tests the strength. Not, you have not only the fellowship to worry about, but who's going to come out next? I'll tell you, it's not looking good for these two young men. That's why it's important to get to get these guys in and out as quickly as possible. Like I said, there's a, thousands of teams just waiting to come in and join this match. A lot of long breaths and deep lungs, gentlemen. You got to have some endurance to go through this. Referee Jack Hill has Those his work got out for him today as he looks on at the action here. Tra Referee Jack Hill, of course, trained by wrestling legend Killer Kowalski. Yeah, Definitely so the, the authenticity is there for sure. But talk about 
talk, talk about Dr. Ozone here. As far as the manager's concerned, it is very important to give your team the guidance they need to win this match. Oh, 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 oh look at this, look at this. This does not look oh, good, but Ty wow. Shine, oh! It's the razor's edge, like, that's gotta be it. One, two, three. And, and we can say Shiro. goodbye to Team Test of Strength now as we get the one, two, three, the Fellowship looking quite dominant now thus far in this tag team gauntlet. They're unified, very athletic, very impressive. Here comes the next one. For Drew Solo and Justin Riker from the Bell Time Club, they're making their way ringside. That's how it gets done, day in, day out. Fenway Park, the Fellowship is here. Wow, these young upstarts, look at them, right? No, no, no quarter given right away boom i don't think you're gonna chop the tree down like that young man oh, but he's trying oh, what an effort start. goodness gracious these guys look like daniel son and mr miyagi justin Riker. now look at oh, this a little bit of wax on wax off wouldn't you say mr wonderful absolutely basement dropping now these young men go by the name jobbers inc again they represent the bell time club and it looks like Riker now a house on fire and in full control of this match now i'm telling you they twerking because they're not curtain jerking let me see you know these guys are small in stature, but goodness gracious, they pack a pretty mean and hard punch. Look scissor kick there by Drew Beautiful Solo. Scissor kick. Beautiful scissor kick. He's going Go into for the, the cover. Three. One, one, two. Nope, not quite. At any time, gentlemen, you got to remember, you're always three seconds away from a decision. Always three seconds away from going home and showering in defeat. Absolutely. Oh, Look what at a nice. That leg was, drop. dare I say, very wonderful. <laughs> Trying to go for the cover here. Struggle. Oh, it's broken up now. It's the teamwork we talked about. You got to be unified. You have to be aware of what's going on in the ring. We'll be aware about your partner. Oh, what's going on here? Now, I think it's, uh, I've, I've got to ask you, gentlemen, are the fellowship now at a disadvantage being the first team out in this gauntlet? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. This is essentially an Iron Man workout. I mean, just having to start first is the death trap. Slow and steady. Slow and, and steady. And look at the size difference here as Riker. Oh, my wow. goodness. That's Super a long fall, gentlemen. Kick. Long fall. One. Kick out right away. He didn't have him, but I thought I thought that was that could have been all she wrote. Folks, I gotta tell you, I mean, it's gotta be the training that these young men are undergoing at the Bell Time Club. It's keeping them in this match right now and enduring the punishment being dished out by the fellowship. Oh, just raking his face across that rope. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that cannot feel good. Back to what you said, Drew Kazoo. Mind you, this is still the tip of the iceberg. There's still other teams that's ready and, wait and waiting to join. And that's why we got to wonder how the fellowship, not only the fellowship, but how Jobbers Inc. here will fare in the rest of this contest as we see Doc Ozone. Oh, what a beautiful Northern Lights suplex. With Perhaps the bridge. The position. And it looked to me like... It was, it was the, two count. the, it fellow, was two count. the fellowship. Uh, That's the benefit of having a manager. Dr. Ozone breaks up the count. Going oh, up and top. look at this. Wait a minute now. Oh, inverted atomic drop. Oh. What just Referee happened? Down. Referee Jack Hill did not see that. And the fellowship. The fellowship's on the road, Drew. Scored Kazoo. another pinfall. That's two teams down, two teams out of the way now. And the Fellowship are on a roll here in this gauntlet. Let me ask you this, Joey Business. Has the Fellowship earned your respect? No. <laughs> well, when they well, start shopping at Prada, they earn my respect. Well, I got to tell you. Now, I, these are some gentlemen. Sorry, Kazoo, but I got to cut you off. Sometimes you're just hot wind. These are gentlemen who earn my respect. This is the cool people. Something that neither of the two of you would know anything about. And by the end of this match, Joey Z, you're going to be eating a lot of crow. I'm staying with the fellowship. I know they've been in the ring for quite a while, but we're going to see them go to work. The cool people, yeah, they look cool, but can they live up to the name? Fan favorites here in New England. No strangers to the squared circle. They've held titles all over New England. And you're about to see why. And there we go, right, like I said, taking it right away into the business, cool people all over the fellowship. Now, mind you, if this is a gauntlet, is it smart to get started that fast? Absolutely. You just you throw everything you got, kitchen sink, plus the outhouse. You just chuck it at them. You make sure that you have everything you've got behind whatever punch you throw. So now, Donnie, I've got to ask you, in boxing, you've got to pace yourself. You've got rounds. You can sit down. You can take a break in between rounds. You can plot your strategy. What's the difference between that and a contest like this, a tag team gauntlet, where it's pretty much every team for themselves with... No time to recuperate. Exactly what you just said, Drew Kazoo. We know that three minutes, you're going to work hard and work your strategy. Here, the moment the bell rings after a pinfall, another team's coming out, so you got to get ready. No rest. Yeah, the other difference is about $150 million goes give or take. As we see now, the failed pinfall attempt here. Cool people getting the Fenway faithful into this contest now. 
got him. He's backing him up into the corner. See, this is the benefit of having a fresh tag team. When they come in, it's almost synergy. They know what the other is thinking. And see what happened. That you saw how that benefited him right there. Cool people putting the boots now as we see the tag. Yeah, Fellowship might be losing some uh, believers. Unfortunately. Now, double hip toss here. Fellowship showing signs of weakness. Are we seeing the, is this the beginning of the end for Doc Ozone and his fellowship? It could be. They've been in the ring quite a while. They took a lot of punishment. A again, it took a third person to get the W for the last team that they eliminated. Team, uh, two oh, here cool. we go, here we go, up in a bad way. Oh, what Fireman's carry. Oh, Samoan drop. Big Samoan drop Big now. Big time. Is it a mistake to not oh, go for the cover? Oh, buster, see? You gotta keep your head on a swivel. Well, I guess it was far too late to go for that, to go for the cover here. And man, here they are commanding Same the strategy as before, look oh, at this. Oh, a little bit of a stumble there. Nope, no, things aren't going as oh. planned. What is going on here? Oh, oh. too long, too long. See, that is the benefit of uh, taking your time. Was that nerves getting in the way? One, two, three. The fellowship is eliminated. The fellowship is very impressive. When here or a cheap jacket. Fresh guys. <laughs> see, how, see how fast Look the match there, starts? Go. You got to stay five. right on them. Get right on them, right at the bell. All right, and, ju and just like that, the chemistry and the dynamic of this gauntlet has changed. No, absolutely. And they're just rolling here. Steamrolling coming in. Haymakers left and right. Oh, into the corner with a big splash. And he's using them like a battering ram. This is quite an interesting strategy here. I gotta dig the strategy. I gotta tell you, they're coming in with a little bit of pep in their step, and I'm really, really liking it. Who we're looking at here, folks, is Foxy, Calvin Campbell, and Bryce Clayton. Bryce Clayton. Two young, two young competitors trained by another uh, New England wrestling legend, Brian Fury. Uh, both these guys look very impressive. Like I said, they're very fresh. But cool people living up to their name, under pressure with their moniker. Wow, that was a beautiful sequence. Guillotine leg drop off of a rear naked choke. And I can tell you what. Here we you go. Can what? One, two. Save there. I'm sorry. To you, cut make, you, off. you make up a lot for endurance when you work together. You, as you can see, all four competitors are in the ring. It's pandemonium, but it's best that way if you want to stand a chance to last through this gauntlet. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. It's trial by fire. You get in there and you just go. Like I said, you throw anything that works. No time for stratagem. Just whatever comes in your head, it's all impulse. Boom, right away. Now, I got another question here for you, folks. What does it mean to these competitors to be resting? They're no strangers to the squared circle, but they're here at... Oh, my goodness. Anyone who's a sports fan. Well, one, but, two, three. And there we go. Cool people. Another pinfall. I, I guess that will halfway answer my question. They've no strangers to the squared circle, any of these competitors, but to wrestle here at historic Fenway Park and to be part of nostalgia and to be part of such an event, is this going to weigh on their nerves? Is this going to affect their strategy and the way that they approach this matchup. No, I have to say something that one thing, we don't always agree, but one thing we got to agree on, there's got to be some jitters being here in a place with so much history. One thing that we can definitely agree on is that the team of Ace Romero and Xavier Bell are going to change the dynamic of this gauntlet in a hurry. And I would say that those jitters go away as soon as they hit the ring, because everybody that's hit the ring, they've, got, they've gotten started fast. And here we go, cool people. Now mixing it up with Ace Romero. And Xavier Bell, Ace Romero, one of the most athletic big men in the business. Double Irish whip now. And oh, what a beautiful double clothesline. Yes, beautiful. chain to Bam Bam Bigelow, one of the greatest athletic big men in the business. Absolutely, right up there with Lawrence Taylor. Folks, and once again, I know we've said this before, but the chemistry and dynamic of this match changed once again. We've got a whole new matchup here. As now Xavier Bell being used as a weapon by Ace Romero now. I gotta tell you, I've seen this twice in this match so far, and I'm really digging Wait it. Wait a minute. Using your oh, oh, oh my god! Oh! oh what a Holy thunder! My goodness, folks, look at this. Cool people now. Not looking too good for him in this country. One, two, two three. And, and that a doubt. I mean, God, that all that mammoth falling on top of Absolutely, him. that completely melted the cool people. Yes. Yes, yeah, you how right you are. I got hey Joey Business, how drunk would you have to be to let Ace Romero do that to you? Not too much. Not too much. Let's just call the match. <laughs> All right, as we as this tag team gauntlet now Keeps carries on. on. And we're just trying to see you take in the spectacle here. I mean it's 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 so much action for your eyes. You don't know what's going on. These two gentlemen just ripped right into the scene and they're taking it to the cool people. Up oh, the cool people is actually gone, Joey Z. And it's the spectacle here. Five-star spectacle, I would suspect. No four-star. This is just 
unbelievably top-notch, top shelf. And by the way, that's all I that's drink. Joy business. Don't Thank short you them. very much. <laughs> don't, don't, don't short them a star. They're five stars. Okay, here we go. Five, Five star, star spectacle living up to the name now as we look at, as we see now, Xavier Bell not looking too good for him in this contest. No, as we've got two fresh competitors no, the, here. The, the, the very nonchalant cover, but effective because it gets into your opponent's head. Mind you, they're the fresh team in here. And as I've mentioned, every team that's entered this gauntlet, they've all started fast. You want to get your opponents out as quick as possible to get the other guys in and essentially do the same and you have your hand raised at the end of the match. We mentioned nerves. We mentioned how being here at Historic Fenway Park could weigh on your confidence and w weigh on your mind. But five-star spectacle, that doesn't look like it's a factor for them at all. They look completely confident now oh, yeah. coming out in this gauntlet. Absolutely. Absolutely, they look like they've been veterans here. Oh, oh! Wow! what a kick to the face, so completely. Maybe, oh, maybe overconfident, folks. Chairman suplex right on the top of his head, going down. He's got to capitalize on it. I mean, that could have been all she wrote right there. Tremendous strength there of Xavier oh, Bell as we see Ace Romero. Wow, look at this. And now come the big jugs. Oh, and a huge, huge sense on. That's it. One. He's not two. the legal man now. Oh, Xavier I'll Bell is the legal are. man. Oh, well, right, you are. That is a mammoth. Referee Jack Hill with his eyes on the action again has his work cut out for him as we oh see. Oh my god. I'm very impressed with the athleticism of Ace. Here he goes off the ropes. Another one. Yikes. I think we just saw the ice. One, age. two, three. The look on that young fan's face said it all as Ace Romero scores the pinfall now. Romero leaves, and Bell. That leaves each team. Each team that survived, each beat two teams. That's right, but will they get a breather? I mean, is that going to factor in? I don't understand what's going on here. It's a little bit, maybe this is mind games, but it seems like the next team is taking a little bit longer than the previous teams to come out. And you don't want to here do that are. because they just finished wrestling and you're giving them a break. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the main state posse that is the Danger Kid and Aiden Agro as they make their way to the ring here. And they're oh. sure taking their time getting to the ring. Danger, danger. And they're with Alexander Lee. I mentioned before, when Dr. Ozone was out here with the fellowship, the presence of a manager can definitely be beneficial for the team. Joey you know, Business, I think, would benefit from a manager. Maybe, maybe. As we see Ace Romero, huge chop now. And he, he looks still looks fresh. He still looks fresh. Look at this. Fenway Faithful here. That's not a chop. That's the whole flank steak <laughs> all on top of you. I mean, good God. No applesauce with that. That's just pain. Oh, absolutely. He'll feel that in the morning. Folks, I'll tell you, there's been all-star games. There have been pennant games. There have been even been World Series. Have sports fans seen action this fast, this furious, this exciting at all ever here at Fenway Park before today? I'll let you know at the end of this contest, Kazoo. Oh, As we teamwork. Excellent teamwork here excellent by the Maine State Posse. And once again, the chemistry. Let's cover one. Nope, not enough. Not enough. I, I mean, I, I, I gotta like it. I just like everyone coming out here, giving it all they have, no matter what. They're just giving no quarter Fs given. They're just giving it all. Absolutely. You get, can you imagine the glory of winning here? Oh, and look at this. In Fenway. Beautiful, here we go. Fenway Park. One, two. Nope. Not enough, not enough. Beautiful athleticism here on display as we see the fans here at Fenway Park looking on with excitement. I like how they're isolating him here. You have you have to work on one and weaken the strength of the team. Here we go. Beautiful, oh. beautiful tag team action. One, two, three. Pinned him quite gingerly there, fellas. If I wouldn't say something, sorry. sorry and I'm that. sorry. That was actually a two there. count, that gentlemen. That was a two count, gentlemen. Yeah, I know. My eyes deceived me. As they clearly do. <laughs> As they clearly do. Oh my goodness! Almost took his head off. Xavier Bell, that short arm clothesline, forearm smash. It's here we go. Now, 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 here's where we're getting down to the strikes, okay? Now we're getting down to the kicks and the punches, which is where Donnie, tell us, at this, especially at this point in the contest, what, is that, what does that mean for one of these teams here? If they've, oh my goodness. Excuse me for one quick second. It has one, two, and three. There we go. They're the hot team, but to your answer your question, question, Drew Kazoo, they've been in the ring for a while. Now remember when they were fresh, those punches had a lot of sauce on them. Now as we get further down into the match, you lose endurance, they lose Cheap. the power, but they're Cheap. still here and they're still strong. Effort, Look at this, the main state posse not, not happy about this. Not happy at all, and uh, it seems we're about to be joined and graced by the parents of the aristocrats. Look at this, Tomahawk and Zach Bulow. Did I say that right? I hope I did, because... I think it's Zach Bulow. 
These guys look like they mean business, and I definitely don't want to make them mad as they enter the tag team gauntlet here. They're taking, they're taking it to the big man. Fist of Fury oh, now going after Ace well worked. And there's that full lamb chop that you talked about. But Tomahawk, he's got a chop of his own. Look at this, Ace Romero now reeling from these Tomahawk chops. And I believe it was a flank stick because you don't put words in my mouth, especially your words. No. Oh. Here we go now, Tomahawk getting the fans here at Fenway Park into this contest. This young man having a, a great time here as he's cheering on Tomahawk. Cheering, <laughs> big man cheering on the aristocrats. Killing him in the corner. Absolutely. Sorry, gentlemen. Absolutely. They've been in the ring for over, little over 10 minutes now, and the fact that they can still carry this pace is very impressive. Yeah, face paint isn't going to get you that far. I mean, he's just taking it right now. Oh, look at that. Elbow, clearly outclassed. But Joe Business, they're the fresher guys. Once again, that's another... They might be fresher smelling, but I don't know how well they're doing. Another stiff shot to the side of the head at this point in the contest. That can't be good Beautiful for... Beautiful suplex. Flow over and a kip up. He's I, going down. One, two. Do you nope, like Do enough. you like when they say textbook suplex? I like when they say textbook suplex. Do you like that, Mr. Business? No, I don't. No? No. <laughs> no, there's no textbook to take this from. I mean, you're just throwing everything you have at each other. I, I, did you read the textbook, How to Squash Your Fellow Man? I don't think so. Besides, we're all very equipped with making cheat sheets now. <laughs> That's true. Thank you, Google. Well, Mr. Business knows all about cheating as we see Ace Romero here grabbing a whoa, whoa, handful whoa. of Tomahawk's whoa, hair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leave your future wife out of this. Oh. Huge clubbing forearm smash to the back of Tomahawk. Oh Huge right God. hand. Unbelievable strength behind it. I, I mean, he's giving up so much poundage to him, but I got to give it to him. He's, he's taking it in spirit. Oh. It, but <laughs> Once it, spirit it, it's, it really is scary. It's almost scary, the wait, athleticism. Wait, one, two. The athleticism of Ace Romero, a man that size to be able to move around the ring like he does is really impressive. Yeah, it's almost an optical illusion. It's like it shouldn't happen, but we're watching it happen. Before and it our doesn't very look eyes. like he's losing a step. They've already taken down three teams. As I mentioned before, they've been in the ring a little over, well, now 12 minutes now, and they're still going strong. Absolutely and he's entering right back in this and ring. And Romero gets taken right back in. I mean, you go at your strongest suit. You gotta, you gotta play to your strength. And wow, what a guillotine leg drop. That is probably going to be it, I would have to say. I'd be surprised if it wasn't one, two. Nope, and the save. Tom Ox te Tom teammate takes the save. Broken up by Zach there, and that could have been his saving grace. That might have been it for him. Ace Romero going back. Oh, and there we go, the taking it old school. Now look at him jawing, telling Tomahawk, there's no way you're getting out of this chin lock. No, uh, don't say never, never, Kazoo. Huge elbow Almost smash now. Gut. Might be... Not be the best place to be hidden, Mr. Romero. Probably not. Oh, oh double clothesline. Same idea, same time, And here's, same where, here's where it comes down to guts. Here's where it comes down to fortitude. Here's where it comes down to determination. Who wants it more? Who wants to win more? As we call in boxing, we're down to the championship rounds. Here we go. As Tomahawk now looking for the tag. Romero hoping to make the tag to the veteran bell. Tomahawk now crawling. Will he make it? He's got to get there quicker. There and we there's go. the Fresh tag. In, going right at Romero, and you see Big Tree won't fall down. Huge. Just He's chopping at him with he's everything taking he's a lot got. Of punishment, Joey. Nice enziguri. The enziguri won't do it. What is going to do it? What is going to take this big man down as he makes it into the corner? Now, blind tag. Go. Here comes Xavier Bell now. Oh. He takes a drop kick. Now, oh. Drew Kazoo, what are the chances of them making out of this match? What are the chances of them beating a fourth team? Oh, oh Romero goes out hard. I think it all, it all comes down to ring awareness. At this point, both teams What's wary, grueling here? as they set up now. Look at this innovative offense. Oh Beautiful. my goodness, that could be it. One, One, two, three. Unbelievable. And look at this, folks. The aristocrats, Tomahawk and Zach Below, getting the pinfall here in this gauntlet, taking out the veteran Xavier Bell and Ace Romero. As we see, oh, here we go, folks. This. The, the whole game changed now at this point. The whole game heavy changed hitters. because we are taking a look at the heavy hitters. They got to be heavy to take this out. I mean, that was quite the upset we just witnessed here. I got to say, I did not see Romero uh, going out like that. Folks, I, quite a shock. One of the most successful tag teams here in New England, the heavy hitters, Shady Shea and Frank Champion. AKA the local legends. These guys are incredible. They're in great shape. They work well together, and you're about to see that now. Look um, at the teamwork. 
I mean, beautiful, beautiful move. I mean, they're the fresh men in here, too. And I mean, that's exactly why they can gloat like this. They're the fresh men. You mentioned that they had that jitters being in Fenway Park. All that leaves as soon as you get out to the curtain. You see the fans. You see the ring. You see your opponent. You get right in, and you get to work. But would you say they're intelligent, benevolent, and eloquent? Absolutely. Unbelievable. Well, when it comes to uh, championship gold here in New England, let's just say that the heavy hitters that used to carry around an extra 15-pound bag wherever they go, these men, no strangers to tag team championship straps here in New England. I'm used to carrying an extra 15-pound bag around. It sits right next to me. <laughs> uh, you know what? No comment on that, Mr. Business. Now, uh, look at this. Probably that's, the I, I've got to tell you, that's a scary prospect here. For the aristocrats to have been in the ring as long as they oh, have heavy hit to have the taken noise. the punishment that they've taken and to have to do battle with a fresh heavy wow, hitters what a disrespectful cover but his shoulders not down got to give the ref a lot of credit in that position because he had his hand on I mean, he had his foot on his throat but the shoulder blades weren't down so he didn't count then here we go go for the, another cover here shady sure shake one two, two. Not, enough. not enough is that wally in the back row look it's wally is that real? Oh, that's not Wally. I'm sorry. That's a cutout, Chris. Okay. Look at. Hey, listen. Uh, sorry, I got a little excited. Okay. I, I love Fenway. That's okay. It's, okay. I love I, being here. I love the feeling. I love Drew the atmosphere. you're definitely a member of the Fenway faithful. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll buy it. I'm having a good time. I'm sorry. Oh, Huge crossbody. Good time. The heavy hitters go right down, but the, it looked like the crossbody hurt him more than it hit his opponent. Which I got to say, what is he packing in there? And I've got to say, the advantage goes to Shady Shea at this point. Oh, here we go. Shady Shea getting up a little bit quicker. Can he get the tag but, to Tomahawk? Uh, Tomahawk looks ready. Right, there we go. Tomahawk gets the, the, gets the tag. Coming in. Duck. Chop. Huge chops. Double Look chop. at this. Chop again. And, and now he's just back and forth pinball. I've heard horror stories about these Tomahawk chops. Yes, when the adrenaline kicks in, I'm telling you, there's a lot of power behind those shots. Here we go now. Tomahawk. A complete and total, can I say oh. TP on fire? I won't, but look at this. Oh my goodness, pancaked. That has got to be it. Do we need a stretcher? Do we, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously wondering if we need paramedics ringside now. Here we go. And this is quite interesting. We've got Lumber Party. Mike Pava and Lumber Jake now making their way. So what are they? What have they got in their hands? What are they holding? I don't know. That looks more up your alley. Are those it's inflatable? <laughs> oh, those are balloon swords. Oh yeah, awesome. Look at this now. You would say awesome. referee. Now. Oh, how disrespectful! How using disrespectful. Are those could those be considered foreign objects? Yes, absolutely. Oh, look at this now. Battering ram. Mike Pava using Lumber Jake as a battering ram, and now. He's got his speed up. Beautiful. He meets defeat, so to speak. <laughs> and <laughs> out goes, out goes big man hard. D double boots. Oh, Mike Pava now in the middle of the ring with both heavy hitters doing all he can to try to. Yeah, he's got to survive here. This isn't looking good. Absolutely not. Not a, a grim no, prospect, to say the least. Wow, Under beautiful. no circumstance should he be in the ring with both of those guys. Oh, by himself. Goodness. Oh, but the, look oh, at making this. the most of it. Nope. Is that it Takes for them? It Quite. Oh, my and goodness. now the heavy hitters. Have eliminated See, three teams. And that's why the heavy hitters are champions anywhere they go. That's why the heavy hitters always have New England championship wrestling, New England straps around their waist, anywhere they go. They're always carrying the belts because of dominant performances like this. Yeah, the lumber party is used to straps, but not carrying them, unfortunately. Oh, and hit, look at here we go, folks. Making their way to the ring. It's mass disturbance. No, here they're coming out with a little bit of ball of attitude. They seem like they're a little bit confident. But I got to tell you, right now my money is on the heavy hitters. Fresh I, I don't see anything Absolutely. Else. They should be in the ring right now attacking the heavy hitters, seeing that they've been in the ring. Absolutely. They've eliminated three teams. They had some time. You're giving them too much time to rest. That's what I'm trying to Agreed. say, Joe. This is where ego takes over brains. Well, and they've also, they've also got the support of the Fenway faithful here, which is going to go a long way in this contest. Now, the Fenway faithful don't know what they're supporting. <laughs> I'm sure that the Fenway faithful would completely and totally disagree with you here, Joey Business, as would most people as we get ready for the end, the ending of this gauntlet now. We're getting down to the bitter end here. Though I'm pretty sure amongst the Fenway faithful, there's some Yankees in the crowd. Let's say, oh, you know what? Those damn Yankees. We have got ourselves, this is going to be a barn burner these last few moments of this contest as we have four huge, huge men. I gotta Listen. ask, did you guys go to Jim Ross Cliche School? I mean, you are really dropping some hot knowledge here. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just call this 
magnificent contest. And let's end it, please. Well, let's see. We've got, there's a lot of weight in that ring right now. A lot of fisty cuffs being thrown. There's a lot of fisty cuffs, no Dixie cups, and let's just go. Throwing him up. He's about to try. See, they're not going to move him now. Pure right? size, that's the size up. right there. Look at that. Pure now, size now. If, if you Double move. Irish whip with one okay, hand so each. Mass disturbance. Double oh. shoulder tackle Double now. Shoulder tackle takes him out hard. Sends champion As you can outside. See on the back it says heavy hitters. That's exactly what each four of these individuals are. Look at oh, this. Shady Shea now. Takes a double elbow. Yep, he looks like he has that stern. He lost his breath a little bit. One, two. Teamwork oh, is tickle. very important. Better be. If carry on, punch carry punch on, Donnie. I don't want to get punched in the mouth. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm glad you value your front teeth, Drew Kazoo. But teamwork is very, very, very important here. Again, this is a gauntlet. If you can get away with having both members of the team in and double team in one guy, you do it, you get them out of there, you get the victory, and you go home. It's all about the V. Right, Kazoo? At this point, I guess that's that's about all you can do. Anything you can to take this one home. As we see the heavy hitters now dishing out more punishment on mass disturbance. Not much left in the tank here. Huh. Unbelievable. Not but at all. They came out hot and strong, but uh, it faded really quick. But again, they took their time. They gave the heavy hitters a lot of rest because they wanted to make an entrance entering the match. Young fans here looking on. And Danny Ramirez taking a bit of a pounding here. Don't play to the crowd. You got you got to get these guys the out. I, I, so I, this is where I think where you are takes place of where you should be. I mean, they're here in Fenway Park. They're getting a little bit distracted here. And how can't you? The nostalgia, the, the, the atmosphere. But you've got to keep your eye on the prize, gentlemen. You really, really agreed, do. Agreed, agreed. However, how often does wrestling happen here in Fenway? Again, it hasn't happened here since the 60s. I can understand you wanted to make a name for yourself. But then again, as you said, it's all about the V. Right, all look, about the VG. Look at this, Frank Champion, shoulder first now into the post. Not looking good here for heavy hitters. A beautiful spine buster though. Turned it around quick and in a hurry. He's gotta get, I don't understand with all the distraction here. Well, we got referee now on the outside of the ring here with Frank Champion as he looks on. Well, it's, uh, it's understandable. I mean, he's been in there quite a while. One, two. It looks like the heavy hitters are eliminated. And I can say, I can I can tell, if I'm hiring for bodyguards, I would definitely pick the heavy hitters to walk with me and accompany me anywhere I go. Well, These guys are absolutely incredible. Well, that elbow smash almost knocked Frank Champion into the kid zone there, so it's no wonder that they got the pinfall as we see mass disturbance in the middle of the ring. Yeah, getting the one, two, three on the heavy hitters. It looks like that was all she wrote. I mean, the heavy hitters, they hung in there as long as they could. They did everything they could, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. Tremendous action here at Historic Fenway Park. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Drew Kazoo for Joey Business and Donnie Wonderful. This is Wrestling All-Stars of New England. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.